Hey guys, what's going on? Sorry I haven't posted in a while, I've just been thinking of stuff. If this video gets 15 likes, I'll do a series called the Weird Knife Series. Like I make the Greek Copus. Next time I might do something called the Scissors. Uh, scissors. Oh, what you'll find out because oh, I think I am just going to do the series. So, this is how to make a grenade. DIY, do it yourself. Going to need a baseball or any kind of ball. Tennis ball work, with a ball work, however the holes might be an obstacle to get around, you might have to tape them over. But you need any ball, and it needs to be the size of a baseball. If you don't, there you can get them super cheap at like Walmart or like a clothes store buy. On Amazon, they'd probably be even cheaper. So you need a baseball, some wood of tape. It doesn't matter what color, I'm just using electrical tape because I don't want to paint anything. However, I'm gonna go show you kind of what I'm making. Grab it. This is what the grenade will look like in the finish. Now the pin is optional. I kind of like to make the pin so I can pull it off whenever I actually throw it. However, this is kind of what the grenade will look like. So I suggest you pause the video right here and go ask your parents if you're allowed to make something like this because if you're playing with this with one of your friends and like, so let's say a cop drives up, it might grab his attention in the wrong way. So, oh god, I just made that lighting awful. Okay, but uh, so what you need is this from a other attempt of this, but you need baseball, whatever kind of tape, scissors, uh, maybe look up a replica online, and cardboard. Now, this is for this kind of grenade. If this video gets actually, I'm not gonna make it because the waffle, uh, because the waffle grenade would just be way too hard. Sorry if you just see a bunch of text. My friends are probably just spamming it. Group chats. Group chats are kind of hard. First, what you need to do is cut out a strip of cardboard. And roll it into a cube. Next, tape that cube. Actually, I have an idea. So I'm just using this from a previous thing. This doesn't do anything, so you don't even just... I forget I even did any of this. This is just what I'm doing to make the video as best as I can. Okay, so... After you got a cube... It's probably around this size. It has to be a little big. This is going to be like this part to the grenade. Like this. So. No. Now cut out another strip of cardboard. So something like this. Now don't do anything with this. Just set it off to the side. You're going to need that. Next, take whatever tape you have. And tape it onto that baseball. Tape on your little cube on any side of the baseball, cause kind of looks like like RTD2 or something. BBA. And I just dropped the tape. Uh, and oh god, I'm gonna rip my pants. Okay. God, can't find this. Ah. Sorry to all the parents in the background that are like, what is this kid even doing? If there are. Alright. Then try... Tape this on. Tape on the cube. There you go. So now whenever it kind of looks like this... I have an idea. No, I don't have like a handle to throw a baseball. However, after it kind of looks something like this... We're going to uh, tape on that thing right here. Okay, now, now that you have something like this, you'll start to see, okay, so now the grenade's starting to take a little shape, 
now we're gonna move on to the pin and then after that the next part's optional but uh the pin part has always been well what am i even talking about whenever i say always been the pin whenever i'm making this it uh it's you literally can do whatever you want you can take a pin off an actual grenade and somehow force it in there You can make a cardboard pin which I'm gonna show you because of the cardboard that you have and you might not have this But what I'm gonna actually put on the grenade is what I do with this grenade now It took me now. It took me a little bit of time with this because I uh, I ended up using the like ending of a roll of electrical tape but uh, pretty much it, let's say you have a roll of electrical tape and you're like, crap, I just used it all. Save that roll. Cut that roll in half, so bend it flat like this. This is just, this is an optional part. Don't use all the electrical tape and do this. This is only if you have it next to you. This is just another way that you could do it. But, uh, tape. It's hard to cut. Okay. I'll do this after the video just because that'd be a while. Next, now we're gonna make the pin, like I said, cut off a very thin strand, probably this big right here. That's way too small. So now that you have your pin right here, this is a little big, but this is kind of all I got to do. Now that your pin's right here, tape it on. Now that you have your grenade right here, this is where I want everybody to stop, click off the video, and then go spray paint it. But unfortunately, since it's, well, snowing in my area, and it's not really, and it's that takes paint a uh, longer time to dry, uh, and it takes paint a, a longer time to dry, and honestly, I just don't feel like it. And you can do this as well. It's just moves, uh, It's just a reminder. You can uh, take a grenade, and I suggest if you need a black, spray paint it black. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just probably going to end up wasting the rest of this electrical tape. However, if uh, pretty much... Uh, here's your grenade right here, and uh, 